Welcome to this brand new show with me, Justin Sane, telling you about all the cool technology things that are going on around the world. Really exciting show for you this time around. We've got concept cars, we've got solar roads, we've got scooters. It's going to be really exciting. Stick around, I'll take you through everything coming out very soon. Toyota have just announced at CES 2017 a brand new concept car called the Concept I, which is their vision of driving in 2030. It's completely autonomous, obviously. There's a personal assistant built inside called Yui, which if you think a bit like Amazon, Alexia, or Google Home, it's got an ability to gauge your emotions, your habits, learn things about you. The whole car is designed around this concept called kinetic warmth, where they believe the car should be more like a friend. Its headlights and its backlights blink and there's an LED screen at the back which warns other drivers about whatever your actions are or if there's an emergency. It's a concept car at this stage but it's incredibly exciting and it's definitely something to watch for in the future. The world's first solar road has opened up in France. It's a one kilometre stretch that has solar panels which produce enough electricity to light all of the village's lights. It was built on existing infrastructure and cost about $5.2 million to build. The panels are covered with a special silicon layer which allows for all the load on top there. And it can handle about 2,000 cars a day, which is really cool, while producing 280 megawatt hours of power per year. It's a trial that they're running for a year, and if it's successful, they're gonna to look to try and roll it out across roads all over France. Um, the only negative feedback that they had about the whole thing is that the solar panels don't actually turn towards the light. So some people are saying that it's kind of a waste of money and it would have been better off spent on actually doing solar palms. But it's a very interesting concept and we look forward to seeing that rolled across the rest of the world. Now one of the main reasons that EV cars were very slow to take off was the range that they had. They tended to you know, only be able to go a certain number of kilometers. There was a lack of charging facilities. There was nowhere to go if your car ran out of juice. And finally, the time that was taken to recharge these cars could be hours, which is it's just no use for long-term travel. But it's been greatly improved recently with companies like Tesla and the third generation uh, superchargers, which are likely to cut down recharge times to um, practically very similar to petrol. An Israeli company called Electrode have developed technology allowing roads to actually charge cars while they're driving on them. It's absolutely amazing. Better yet, the coils can be inserted into existing infrastructure, completely safe for pedestrians, and they're quick to install. Basically, you can do about one kilometer of road each day. It works by using electromagnetic induction, which is the same technology used for powering wireless mobile phones, electronic toothbrushes, and that sort of thing. They're testing it at the moment with public transport like buses in Tel Aviv. And if successful, they're looking to roll it out all over the country, which is awesome. And if you think about it, if they doubled it up with the solar powered roads, they could use solar to power cars driving on them, which would be awesome. One of the scooters I'm really excited about is the Eco Rico Model R. This thing's amazing. It's got a range of up to 20 miles uh, with a pro battery. It's got a top speed of 20 miles an hour. Even uphill with 35% velocity, it can connect to your phone, which is cool. Its uh, batteries can be swapped out very easily, so if you want to go to the Pro battery, which gives you more range, then that's nice and easy. It's got two riding modes, throttle and kick assist. There are lights on the front, the rear and underneath. Uh, it's got a collision avoidance system, and it can text your GPS location to uh, one of your uh, contacts if something goes wrong. So if you have an accident, your friends or family know exactly where you are. Um, it has a built-in tile system, meaning that if it goes missing, you can see on GPS, even without a data plan, where it is. Awesome! Now, this thing at the moment is available on Indiegogo, and you can get it for about $8.99. Uh, that's US. And it's due for release in May 2017. I am really interested in this thing. It looks so cool. Another cool scooter option out there, which has just been announced at CES 2017, is the Herb E Sport. It's 40% cheaper, 20% lighter, completely made in the US, and goes at about 899. Now the cool thing about this scooter, as well as being easy to ride, uh, new suspension, as powerful as a bike, is it has a disconnectable battery, which means that you can charge your phone up to 40 times, your laptops up to five times, and just can be disconnected and put back together whenever needed. It's also got a bottle opener underneath, which I think is pretty handy, and it's great for people who just don't need to own a car and get around the city. You can even attach like a little shopping basket up behind it if you want to go and do your groceries. Awesome little idea. 
A big thank you to you for watching the show. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you learned something new. If you want to find out more about anything we've talked about, there's information down on the bottom. Now, I'm going to be coming back very soon with more new cool stuff that I think you guys will love. Cheers. Bye.